everyone welcome back to my channel this is Sambu from cloud tech today's session we are going to explore like if you would like to clone or if you would like to push or commit any changes from your local git git to in that aws code commit then how we can do that in this today's session i am going to explore or another way we can say like if you would like to access that aws code commit to your local git uh, like local machine then how we can access by using EC2 instance or IAM role uh, with this how we can access in a git okay guys so let's move on to the AWS console in my previous session I have already created this branch and in this branch we have one file also so let us uh, move to a, a one launch one EC2 instance also as well so let's create one EC2 instance by using that EC2 instance we are going to access this git repository okay guys so how we can do let me show you that come here and launch one EC2 instance suppose let's skip now select the key pair here and from the security group let's select our existing security group here and if you don't know about the security group and then key pair I will request you guys refer my previous video where I have already demonstrated about this all I will give those link to this video description okay guys and for this one let's go to the advanced and let's select the IAM policy we are going to give this EC2 S3 full access this IAM I will show you like what basically permission we have attached here so let's launch this EC2 instance and meantime let's go to that IAM and let me show you that uh, role what basically have the permission so let's go to the roles and let's click on that EC2 full permission access and here we have multiple role for this like a git commit access right we need to give this uh, a, a, like this one AWS code commit full access so this AWS if you would like to access this code commit right then we have to give this permission how we can attach like we can create attach and then attach and here we can search like uh, uh, code commit and here multiple option we have already since I have already given the full access right so here only power user and read only access these two are pending if you want you can add and click on add like this we can do okay guys since I have already given the full access so I am not going to add anything else here if you see here right I have git AWS code commit full access okay so this is how our IAM and this is the IAM I have attached to here. Let's go to the instance again. So it is in running. So issue to instance. Let's go here. Specified issue to user and let's give that uh, click on OK. Our instance is connected. Sudo su and I also I am going to show you like if you want to set up the git on the EC2 instance right how we can do that part also I am showing you because see by default git will be not there so what we need to do we have to install yum install git just press this command then it will install automatically on behalf of you okay so installation is done if you now check it now git is not a uh, unknown command right it was giving here unknown command if you see here right command not found now it is able to hit right if you want you can check the version git version also so this is what and if you want like you can set up that uh, user configuration also and currently now git uh, con fij config hyphen hyphen list nothing is there no configuration is set up if you want you can set up configuration like how it will be like if you want like this you can set up I have already uh, note down all these comments so record will be very fast okay and then you can set up the user I will give this uh, all this command to this video description so that it will helpful to you guys and now if you check again list right then how we can check now let's see it was giving list is empty right now if you check the list now you can able to see that uh, some some data is there now from here if you would like to access this uh, repo whatever repo we have created here right this repo how we can access that's our goal today right so let's see clone http and let's go to here now pass the git clone here git uh, cl 
clone and then whatever URL HTTP there are two options like uh, if you clone like HTTP SSH also is there so let's select the uh, like HTTPS only now it is asking the username and password right why because uh, we didn't added that uh, I am role to here right let me show you that let's go here go to this instance and security I'm only if I am here we gave the I am okay should not ask right but it is asking the username password why because it is not able to fill uh, like username password you have to but this is no username password right it is not able to pull right so now what we can do uh, we can take this from that I am right so I am that's the command like uh, from that uh, git config right we can take that credential helper so let's uh, select this one then it will not ask the username password let me show you that also let's hit this one and then make it as a true that global credential okay now try to clone again so let's clone now it is not asking you username password see we are able to connect right so this is how if you want to connect the aws code commit right now see here we have that uh, branch also cd if you go to cloud tech right now you can check that that file also if you want you can create here file also test txt something you can add here let me show you that suppose you are adding something and just close this and then now we added one file right so let's see the status of that git status so one file is added so let's add that to uh, in our repo aws code commit repo so this file will go to the repo git it's all our git commit like a git uh, normal command so if you guys want to know more about this git then i will in my future i will set up git with eclipse and then we'll uh, show you like different kind of like how we can compare branch history uh, like uh, those things i will show you in my next subsequent video okay guys git commit minus m then put some message git push now it is not asking any username password right now let's go to the aws console and let's refresh this uh, repository again now that file should come here let me check here now that test uh, this file is came right and if you want to create a branch and that branch also if you would like to push that also you can do git checkout we suppose i am creating one more demo branch okay now if you check that branches now it is a two branch here demo now i am in demo branch if you want to push this branch right git push origin push let's keep this in demo now new branch is pushed here right let's go to here just go to the branch now new branch came right so this is how we can manage like if you want to like from aws code commit to git if you want to connect right or if you want to uh, do some changes from your local and you want to push that changes to your aws code commit then this what the main part is that uh, im role you have to create and that particular im role should have the permission aws code commit permission and in that wherever from that uh, wherever you are having that git right so uh, make sure there either you have the cli uh, like aws cli is configured or maybe you have that proper im permission there or maybe issue to access here um, for my case here cli is not configured why because because i have given the ec2 full access if you go to my im role right if you see here that i given the ec2 full access right that's why i didn't configure the aws cli configured but if you don't have this kind of permission then we have to configure the aws cli configure by using that access key and access like access key and those, uh, those like secret id those by using that okay guys so if you guys if you want to know about the how we can configure the cli then i will request you guys refer my previous video which i have already demonstrated aws cli how we can configure 
So now once you have those thing and then we have to set up this uh, credential helper from AWS uh, like credential helper we have these two command we have to pass then only this uh, we able to push those uh, whatever changes you are doing in your local that you can push okay guys so once you set up this thing then only you can able to push otherwise it will ask you username and password so i hope this session will be helpful to you guys like if you want to set up like a, a aws code commit to your git uh, and then how we can access that i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable then i will request you guys share with surrounding with you friend and please put your valuable feedback on this video uh, comment section or maybe if you have any doubt then put that to in the video comment section i will add this thought in my next subsequent video okay guys chalo see you in my next video bye